Hi my loves, welcome back to another Get Ready With Me. I haven't done one in ages to be honest, but we're going to jump straight into it. First, I am using my Body Shop Skin Defense, this is SPF 50. I use this literally every single day, I love this stuff. Then I'm going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is a primer and moisturizer in one and I absolutely love this stuff. It's so good at moisturizing, but it's not like heavy or rich, it's just really like it's like water but still moisturizing and then i go in with my fenty beauty pro filter primer this stuff really helps to keep my face kind of matte but like glowy in the right places because i tend to go a bit too shiny or like greasy over the day i'm guilty for that but this helps to keep it intact um and it makes your makeup last so long like all day long Right now I'm just using the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in Black is Black and I'm just filling my brows in with this and once I've done the other brow I go in with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in Medium Dark and I just kind of go over my brows with this to keep them in place and make the brow hairs stand out more, especially in, in the inner corners. Then I'm going to grab some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand and I am going to kind of carve my brows with this and I'm using this flat, really flat brush, it's so precise and it's just so good at carving your brows. Um, I believe this is from Doe Color, like I said I got from them, I will link it in the other box. And yeah, after that I'm using the same concealer and I'm using this as my eyeshadow base. I do this a lot as you guys know already. Once I'm done blending that, I'm using my Jaclyn Hill palette. I was going to say Jaclyn Hill favourites palette, but no, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm using one of the lightest matte shades in the palette to set my concealer in place. If you're lighter than me, this shade might be too dark for you to do that, but I would just suggest using a, a normal translucent powder to do this. Then I'm using this, I would say taupey brown shade, it's like a true taupe, and I'm just buffing this into my crease. And then I went in with this darker mauvey taupey brown, it's a really unique brown, and I'm just deepening the crease all in all along the crease line i would say like to the inner corner from from the outer corner to the inner corner or from the inner corner to the outer corner however you want to say it i'm so bad at voiceover guys but you guys wanted a voiceover i did ask you on instagram and you wanted a voiceover so i'm gonna do one for you um here i went in with a lighter brown not lighter darker brown with a really f kind of like small fluffy brush and deepening the crease even more and then i went in with this dark brownie plum shade and I packed this on the outer corner of my eyelid and really like kind of smoked it out and I really wanted this look to look really smoky grungy and then I went in with this really unique brown shimmery shade it had like I would say blue reflex or silver reflex in it it's it was just so pretty so I put that all over my mobile lid and then I went over with this lighter shimmery shade that I pointed to and I just packed that on the top as well, kind of to make it brighter. Next, I'm using my Glam Crystals by Collection. This is in the shade Hustle. And I am creating a crease line, I would say, with this. This, When you use this glitter, it's just so beautiful and it's so affordable. I definitely recommend these. I'll link them in the info box for you guys. I'm going to go off camera and do both eyes properly. And then I um, went in with some Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline. And then I'm using some falsies. So these are my favorite lashes at the moment. They're the Ilo Most Wanted Lashes in Gimme Gimme. Guys, if you don't have this, you need to get it. Get it. Because it's just like the good, like the best thing out there for lashes. It's just so nice. Anyways, for foundation, I'm using the Pro Filter Foundation by Fenty Beauty in the shade 330. I'm telling you, this is my most favourite high-end foundation at the moment. I love this stuff. It makes my skin look so nice. And I get tons of compliments on my skin when I wear this foundation. It just makes everything look so smooth and even. And I don't even need colour corrector. And that's a huge thing for me. And I just love this stuff. The only thing I would say about this foundation is that you can't really build up on, uh, on it so one layer seems to do the job for me but once you start to go in with another layer it starts to do weird things so that's the only downside to it i would say but definitely recommend this this has been like my favorite base products all the products that i've used on my skin today make my skin look so flawless and i definitely recommend each and every one of them and they work so well together um i'm using some concealer by the way this is a tan um tan sand concealer by tarte 
the shape tape concealer I've said this so many times but I, I love this concealer it's not my go-to but yeah I'm just blending that away by the way guys if you want to see more get ready with me just let me know right in the comments below and I'll make sure to do more I didn't really show my outfit in this video because I was literally rushed but um make sure to do more like outfit bits as well in the next time ones if you guys want to see more so to set that concealer in place I'm using my banana dreams powder by w7 this powder is really really good especially in pictures and it's super affordable so I'm just like packing that under the eyes and I'm also going in with my Kat Von D loose setting powder and I'm just setting the rest of my face with this powder again it, this makes your skin look really really soft and matte but not too matte it's just a natural matte and it looks amazing in pictures as well for my bronzer you guys know I love me some good bronzer so I'm using my Topshop bronzer in salute this is such a good bronzer I definitely recommend this one and I'm just buffing this on the perimeter of my face and on my cheekbones and my jawline well non-existent you know but you kind of just just do one just just pretend there's one there <laughs> and then for my blush I love this blush like it's one of my favorites it's the LA girl just blushing just peachy blush and then for highlights I'm using the Laura Geller highlighter in Gilded Honey this is such a stunning highlighter I just pack this on the highest points of my face and once I'm done with that I really like to um, set my face with some setting spray oh and I also put some on my brow bone it actually looks really nice on the brow bone and yeah so I like to go with some setting spray I'm using the Laura Geller Sp Spackle Mist this stuff is so good by the way so I just like to spray my face and whilst my face is still drying I like to go in with this Bobbi Brown um, glow stick in Ireland this is like a recent discovery I love this stuff this stuff is so good I definitely if you don't have this you need to get it I'm telling you just pack this on top of any highlighter it's just gonna make your glow look so real and dewy and wet but then it's it doesn't feel wet it doesn't feel sticky so I just love this stuff as you guys can tell <laughs> and then um, on my lower lash line I went in with some of the um, first shades that we use on the crease I just buffed that roughly on my lower lash line from the Jaclyn Hill palette and then I use this matte forest green from the palette and I'm packing this closer to my lash line with a fluffy brush and then I'm using some Primark eyeliner cold pencil I definitely recommend you guys trying this out I don't know how many times I've said recommend in this video I'm so sorry guys but this stuff is good and then I also went in with some mascara on my lower lashes as always and I did also use some Laura Geller highlighter in my inner corners I packed this stuff on my inner corners I just wanted my inner corners to pop because the eyes are quite dark so I feel like the inner corner highlight really like just brings light back into the eyes so yeah that's mostly the eyes and face done then I'm going to go on to lips I'm using the Primark lip pencil in Toffee I love this um, lip pencil, it's one of my go-to lip pencils, the ones that I keep in my bag. I have a ton of brown lip pencils in my bag for some reason. But anyways, I like to kind of slightly overline my lips and yeah. This is very similar to Matte Cork by the way, it's a bit more browny. I mean it, it's just like a dupe I would say. Um, and then I went in with some Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Girlfriend. This is my go-to lip colour. This is always in my bag. Always. I love this colour. And I'm almost running out of it. I've never ran out of liquid lipsticks. So I feel like this would be my first one. I've actually done it. <laughs> so I went off camera to do my hair. It was wet this whole time if you guys didn't realise or if you thought there was oil in my hair. Nope, it was wet. So yeah, that's the final look guys. I also stuck on these nails that were sent to me from Pretty Woman and they are so convenient. I was literally such in a rush so I quickly put them on and they're still on a day later going strong. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!